What is going on, guys? Welcome to Quick Picks. My name is Austin Swain with three of my favorite college football bets this weekend. We got some fun ranked conference battles on tap, and that starts in the SEC. I'm looking at the game between the Kentucky Wildcats here and the Ole Miss Rebels in Oxford. Give me the Rebels minus six and a half points here. To me, they're one of the most unheralded teams in the country. They're currently top 15, both in ESPN, SP Plus's analytical rankings in offense and defense, but to me, it's the offense that steals the show here. Jackson Dart, USC transfer quarterback, has come in. They have not missed a beat without Matt Corral, Zach Evans, and Quinshawn Judkins as well out of the backfield have been dynamic, scoring touchdowns in bunches. They beat their only Power 5 opponent, Georgia Tech, by 42 points. They have bludgeoned people so far, and I think this game has plenty of points, and I'm just not sure Kentucky can keep up. Will Levis is a good quarterback here, but Chris Rodriguez coming back out of the backfield. He will be limited. This is his first game all year in the wide receiver room. Not exactly settled there with Wildcats. They're 59th in ESPN SP Plus offensive rankings and 63rd in yards per play. That is not what you get out of Ole Miss, so I'm okay laying six and a half points in a game that will have plenty of them. Give me the Rebels that are to win comfortably at home and really announce their stake to a college football playoff spot. From there, we transition to the ACC, and that is the Wake Forest Demon Deacons, who we saw last week against Clemson. They're traveling to Tallahassee to face the Florida State Seminoles. Give me the Knowles, minus six and a half here, and I really respect this team after they just clobbered Boston College last week. I thought Boston College had a chance to cover the spread there with their offensive pieces. Florida State shut them down, and I know Florida State's going to put points on the board because Jordan Travis has really come in and saved this program. Last year, they started 0-4. Travis came in, they finished the year 5-3, and and he has started 4-0 this year, including that big win over LSU back in New Orleans, and this program is entirely different now, and unfortunately for Wake Forest, what we saw last week is their defense reverted back to last year's version. They are 100th now in ESPN's SP Plus defensive rankings. They did not play well in that game. They let DJ Uyagole hang 51 points on them in a Clemson offense that was mostly struggling going to that point. Wake Forest's defense isn't playing very well. Jordan Travis can make plays as a quarterback. Uh, Treshawn Ward out of the backfield is dynamic as well, and Ontario Wilson outside can beat you deep. This Florida State team is deep. I think they are back, and I think Florida State announces it by winning by at least a touchdown over Wake Forest and their poor defense. I'm going to stay in the same conference, and I'm looking at Clemson's and NC State. That game is in Death Valley. Clemson, the host here, but I like under 42 and a half points as the best bet in this contest. Now you look, Clemson minus six and a half at home. I could have taken a third straight home favorite, but I'm not going to. I think the bet here is on just fewer points than expected. When I look at these two offenses against the defenses, NC State, of course, held Clemson to a, just 111 passing yards last year. Uli Ugalule really struggled in that game. Now, of course, they were upset and their season was effectively ended there with a second loss. So a bit of a revenge spot. NC State still has a top 10 defense in those same SP Plus rankings, but Clemson, we know their defense is excellent, and NC State is not moving the ball well on offense. Just 80 first in yards per play behind Devin Leary. I think this one's ugly. It is a grind. You look at these two defenses, it will be a physical battle if you love physical football, but there won't be a ton of points on the board. Under 42.5 points for me here. I would lean on the Wolfpack to cover a 6.5 point spread, but I think I'm just going to bet on not very much scoring when I look at this contest.